Hello, I'm Joe Rimmelspach at the Ohio State University Department of Plant Pathology. And it's April 25th, Friday, and I'm going to give you a little update on turf tips. Uh, first of all, I want to follow up a little bit about the extensive cold injury that we saw in many lawns throughout the state, especially in the northern part of the state, earlier this week and last weekend. And then also talk a little bit about golf, some of the things we're seeing there and what to keep an eye on. As far as home lawns, these are examples of samples we've gotten in this week. A lot of tip dieback, a lot of browning, and uh, so there's great concern for this, and especially about recovery. Um, and so to determine recovery, as uh, we talked about or I mentioned in the last video, you want to look at the crown of the plant. This is at the very base of the leaves and where the roots initiate. And to see if this is alive, oftentimes what you want to do is pick out individual plants, and what you need to do is pull back the, kind of the dead or older leaves, the sheaths, and then you can take something sharp, a knife or a razor blade, and you can slice through the lower part because you want to see inside the crown tissue to see what, if it's healthy or if it looks like it's dead. Um, what you should see when you cut through it is that it should be white in color, not dark or brown, and it should have kind of a, a it should look moist, not real pithy or dry. And so if you have those conditions, um, it, it, should be al uh, it should be alive and if it's alive, then it can initiate new leaves and roots, and you'll get full recovery. Now, uh, there's also a concern, I'm getting questions on lawns, what do we do with these? Should we stop everything? What should we do? And basically, what you want to do is maintain uh, good basic maintenance practices to promote healthy turf. So you want to continue to mow. Uh, fertility can, can be quite beneficial. Don't delay your spring fertilization. As far as uh, you can core cultivate, all those basic maintenance factors are excellent to continue and actually could aid in a more rapid recovery. As far as pesticide applications, crabgrass control material, go ahead and put it down. Broadleaf weed control, you might want to just maybe postpone or be, uh, make sure your crowns are alive before you apply that. But in general, just con con continue to make your applications. Uh, time frame, I don't know how quick it's going to take to recover from this, this situation. Um, Theoretically, in a couple mowings, if there's half the leaf blade is brown, in a couple mowings, that should be removed. But if we have cool temperatures or slow growth on lawns, especially in the northern part of the state, it may take uh, quite a number of weeks, actually, for all this dead tissue to be mowed off and replaced with healthy new tissue. So if you have any questions on that, let us know. On the golf side, there's two areas I want to talk about. Uh, the first is I want to talk a little bit about um, uh, recovery from the cold conditions, especially on annual bluegrass, which is more severe in central Ohio and parts of western Ohio. Uh, many of these uh, greens that were affected by now, uh, you can see pretty clearly how much is going to come back. And in a lot of cases, it has shown great recovery. Um, there are a few cases where it's very thin or completely dead, and you know, you're going to have to plan renovation, whether it be seeding, overseeding, uh, plugging out dead areas, resodding, whatever. The other thing on golf I want to mention is uh, uh, many people are thinking about their early application of Stoller spot control on fairways. And normally in this situation what we recommend is that you do this sometime after the fairways have been mowed several times. However, this year with these strange weather conditions, everything delayed, I think it's going to be harder to really predict when to uh, make the application. So it may be a bit early for most people. I know it's quite variable across the state. Um, you want to make sure, some, remember some of the basics. You want your turf to be actively growing in a growing state. Um, you want to use a fungicide that you know is very effective on dollar spot, preferably a systemic, maybe mix that with a contact, and you should have good results. So uh, have good luck this week, and if you have any questions, contact us.